You guys know what a normal village looks like in Minecraft. But what if I transformed it and upgraded it? I wonder what that would look like. Well, today you will find out because I transformed this boring looking village into a beautiful castle full of custom houses. Making this video took me four entire days. So if you guys can please subscribe, like the video, and share it with a friend, I will love you guys forever. Anyways, welcome to episode 16 and I hope you guys enjoy. Bro, look at this guy. You know, you can at least ask me if you want to go fishing with me. This man just sat right on my boat with a fishing rod in his hand, thinking he could drive away. Fine, I'll take you fishing for a second. Let's go. Ow, 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 ow. All right, yeah. You're not, you're not going fishing. This guy's aggressive. He starts swinging at me with a fishing rod. Where did he even get that? I'm just out to take my boat back. Yeah, you drown. Stay in the water. You belong in there. You know what? Give, give back my fishing rod too. Oh, it's gone. Whoops. Anyways, welcome to episode 16. Two episodes ago, I built myself this awesome automatic smelter, super smelter, 1,000, 9,000, 6,000. I have no idea what I just said. I just spit random numbers in my head. But yeah, I built this super smelter and <laughs> as you can see, I'm never going to run out of food. <laughs> but today's plan is to transform this village into a castle looking city thing. I'm just the best at explaining things, <laughs> but that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace these stupid, ugly cobblestone stone walls into some beautiful stone brick ones build it nice and high and i'm gonna transform some of these houses into uh better looking houses because i'm not sure who designed these village houses but they are pretty ugly please don't take offense if you build these houses but who made it pink but i'm gonna need a lot of resources i want to tear from this entire place because like look at this part this place is pretty hideous it looks like a meteor hit the ground like why is it so indented like that so like always this is gonna be a pretty big project i'm gonna need a lot of resources to transform this village into like a a castle so let's start collecting some resources all right i think the entrance to the castle will be right here somewhere it does suck that it's behind the mine but there's nowhere else i can build the entrance into the castle unless i build it like right here which could connect to this path but let's throw down a chest right here and let's fill all of these up with resources i'm gonna need a lot of stone a lot of different kinds of wood obviously some leaves and maybe some dirt to tear from the land some gravel to make better pathways and yeah a lot more stuff so let's grab some stone brick i'm gonna need a lot more wood and and basically every single resources. Uh... Ooh, diamonds. I'll take it. Even though it's kind of peasant material. Considering how much diamonds I have mined. But uh, I'll take eight diamond ores. Oh, more diamonds. There is a pocket of gravel right here. And I do need a lot of gravel to make the pathways for the village. So I'm going to collect all of this up. And usually I hate gravel underground, but this is actually perfect. Do you guys hate gravel when you guys mine as well? It's probably one of my most hated block when I'm mining. Oh, wow. I actually got a lot of flint from mining that gravel. 16 flint. My luck is insane. All right. I think I got enough stone for the entire castle. But soon enough, this entire mine shaft will reach to the end of the Minecraft world. I swear. We're going to keep expanding this until we reach new land. But this is insanely long. Look at this. It's insane. It keeps going. Here, I'm going to run in a straight line and fast forward it to show you how long this is starting now i need a food break this is a really long run oh man okay let's keep going Ugh. And we finally made it to the finish line. They made me tired in real life just holding the W key. But I mined out all of that stone by hand. And most of that stone went to only one project. And that project was my axolotl island in the middle of the ocean. I filled it up with so much stone and you barely even get to see it. This was a pretty crazy project. There's a lot of stone in here. At least my axolotls are all still alive. But now let's turn all of these stone into stone brick. And let's throw it inside the resource chest. I have half a double chest of stone brick now. Now let's go chop down some more trees is deforestation time and my goats are looking pretty insane there's so many muggle jordans and tom brady's in here and a couple of uh, cookie gods in there but yeah look at them <laughs> i'm surprised none of them escaped though so i did make the wall perfectly high perfectly hot perfectly tall english no good bad english L let's just start cutting down the tree man hashtag anti-team trees just a disclaimer please don't cut down the trees in real life don't do this at home this is minecraft and it's a virtual block game all right back to chopping down the trees after that short little PSA from me. I'll become a president one day and save all the trees from being chopped down as I chop down all of the trees. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, buddy. <laughs> Holy cow. I got a lot more wood than I thought I did. Well, that should be enough to transform that entire village, I think. If that's not enough wood, I must be doing something wrong. Hey, look, it's my girlfriend. Out here on the streets. Oh, got him. Oh, that's not funny. Don't make fun of women. All right. And there's all the spruce logs I need. And I'm probably going to need a lot more oak logs because I'm slowly running out. Well, right back to the forest. It's chop chop time. The slam chop is coming. Does anybody remember that commercial? Please, somebody in the comments tell me you guys know that commercial. The slam chop or the slap chop. I forgot what it's called. It was hilarious though. It was such a meme. I swear that was like the first meme as a kid. Oh, good times. But since you guys already watched me chop down an entire forest, let's just build up here and just a little swipe you see off these trees well, well no more all the trees are gone the only trees that are left are birch trees that's kind of sad but i did collect a lot of oh my god i did collect a lot of wood that is almost the same exact amount of wood that i collected from the spruce biome Jeez, i'm on a roll today all right i got my wood i got my leaves the stone and all i got left is to collect some gravel and i'm not sure where the best place to find gravel would be maybe the nether so let's head over there and try to find a little gravel spot da -da 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 -da. Bam. This place is kind of scary. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to bother your family. Oh, my God. His uncle and aunts are chasing me. I'm sorry, child. I, I won't put you in danger. Is that a ghast up there? Oh, that is a ghast. Let me build up there and meet this ghast. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I won't bother you. Oh, why is everybody so so violent over here in the nether? Oh, my. I just want to steal things from your home like gravel. I'm not trying to do any harm. Okay. I know gravel spawns near lava, so it has to be here somewhere. Right? <laughs> oh, ah! Oh my god oh there's two skeletons right here what the heck they almost hit me right off the nether okay i need to jump down there there's gravel over there i see it okay that's kind of risky please don't chase me oh no how do i get down this is uh really risky here okay let's grab some nether rack and let's this is where i almost died right there if you guys watched the episode where i almost died in my hardcore world well it was right there and let's try to reenact it <laughs> Okay, let's uh, make my uh, safe way down. Oh my, let's try not to die right here again. Okay, I'm alive, surprisingly. <laughs> the skeleton shooting at me and we made it over to the gravel. Nice. That was a pretty scary journey. And imagine if I forgot my shovel. That would have been so bad. But here we go. The gravel I need. Oh, the things I do just to build something nice. All right, but let's collect all this up. Oh, oh, that was just an avalanche of gravel into lava. That would have been really dangerous. I'm getting really lucky right now. I'm I'm literally skipping death. I'm literally dodging death right now. Go away. Oh my God, I'm hitting him with a shovel. This guy probably thinks I'm an idiot. You guys probably think I'm an idiot. Okay, let's make sure this gravel is kind of safe. It's not safe. I can mine these ones though. Ah, what the? What, what just burnt me? Hello? Dad, is that you? Okay, I think I have enough gravel. I I'm done being here. The nether scares me. Okay, I'm out. I'm running straight home. No distractions at all. Ooh, a lot of blue fire. I like blue fire. It looks so cool. Like, look at this peasant fire. Okay, let me just sneak right by you here. <laughs> so many things are shooting at me. Yay! Spare me. Go, 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 go. Hide, hide behind the pillar. Okay, I'm free. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a safe man. Oh, wait, I just realized my hoglin's gone. What happened to my boy Logan Paul? Did he die in the lava? Oh, no, that isn't good. We all know Logan Paul is pretty aggressive and he escaped his home. Oh my, he followed me here. Please leave me alone. Yeah, I think it's time for bed. This is getting a little too scared for me. Yeah. All right, but after that super scary trip from the nether, I finally got myself all the gravel I need. After an entire hour and a half of resource gathering, I finally collected all of the resources I need to transform this entire village right here. I went over to my strip mine to mine some stone for stone bricks. I chopped down an entire spruce forest. And if that wasn't enough, I also chopped down an entire oak forest. And I went over to the nether to grab a lot of gravel. And let's just say i ran into a bunch of hostile mobs that almost killed me and almost fell into lava from the gravel trap but after all of that resource hunting and exploring here is all of my resources and let's start building guys all right now let's connect a pathway to this pathway and connect it to that pathway <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so bad at explaining things. I'm so bad at explaining. Oh, what's up, bro? Like, I want to be in the shot. He want to be in the video. What's good? It screamed for me. Hey, my boy. He didn't scream, but he made a noise. Hey, that's my boy. Oh, you're just going to walk away from me like that? All right. Um, oh, That was an interesting meeting with a goat. But as I was saying, I'm going to make a pathway to the brand new castle that I'm going to be making over here. I'm pretty excited to see how this will turn out. All right, we are officially connected to the village. And let's finish it off with some little... 
what are these god <laughs> little curbs and there we go whoa what is happening up there this doesn't look that good i'll save you buddy stay there don't move stay there i'm coming for you come save your life quick 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 i'm coming i'm coming i'll save you don't do it don't do it you have more to live for ah! He pushed me off the sabotage. All right, fine. I'll leave you be. But before I start working on the castle, let's get a quick before shot. And then we can compare to an after shot and see the big difference. And this is the before shot. Just a pretty plain village. Nothing fancy. Pretty boring. And stay till the very end to see the after shot. Because this is going to turn out into something insane. All right, first things first. Let's start constructing the castle walls around the entire village to uh, upgrade the reinforcements a little bit. Because these cobblestone walls aren't doing a lot to... Uh, protect these villagers and my main job here is to keep the villagers safe so let's make a huge watchtower right here and it'll be on both ends Oh my god, we're oh my god, the children are attacking me. You control your you control your kids. What the oh my a lot of mobs over here. I didn't even realize I was too distracted on building. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed really quickly. Mobs scare me. Pixelated hostile mobs give me nightmares in bed. Also, my girlfriend does too, but it scares me a little bit. But uh yeet. But this is what I got so far for the entrance for the castle. I really like how it turned out. I'm not completely done yet. I still need to add some trap doors up here just to add some extra color and all the way around this pillar. But so far it looks pretty good i think it's got a nice little fence gate right here block out all of the intruders and yeah I, I really like it so far and i just need to expand the stone wall all the way around the village so it can protect the entire place from all of these scary mobs unless i should leave it like this because it looks kind of funny the entrance has huge stone pillars it looks all armored out and like sturdy and then you look to the left and there's a <laughs> But let's break down these walls here. And let's hope no villagers attempt an uh, prison escape. And let's build a quick little design for a prison wall. It's going to be three blocks wide like this. I'm going to add some little stairs like this. And I'll make it stick out with some slabs. Maybe like this. All right, let's see how that looks. Ooh, this is not too bad. Yeah, I should really like that. A little slab here. Maybe some trap doors to add some color. Maybe another piece of stair right there. And I think some iron bars will look really good for this let's put some iron bars right here okay that makes it look a little too much like a prison maybe not that is not the impression i'm trying to give off here maybe just some spruce slabs down here like that add some extra color and i think it looks better like that so let's go with this design and uh, circle around this entire village with these stone brick walls this is gonna take a while but uh, let's start building Now that I've finally completed the entire wall surrounding the village, I still need to add some details to the walls because it's straight stone brick and it's pretty boring. So let's continue this design all the way around and this might take a while. So I gotta put slabs all throughout the top on top of these stairs. So it looks like some castle looking design. You guys know what I mean? <laughs> like the little spike design. So let's go all the way around the entire castle doing this. All right, I went all the way around and completed the entire border with the little spikes on the castle. It's looking a lot better already. Now, I just gotta make a bunch of these spruce trap doors. Let's get all this in the crafting table and bam. That probably isn't enough, but let's go all the way around and see. What the f***? I did it all wrong. Okay, it's only those ones. Oh, that one too. Oh, my brain is the size of a grape. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna shot by uh who's shooting me? Oh, I was so confused. I kept hearing arrows fly by me. I had no idea where the skeleton was. But it's looking pretty good so far. It's looking a lot better than before. But I am scared of mobs. That dude shot me in the kneecap. That was uncalled for. Well, 360. Yeet. Oh, I miss. Yeet. Oh, I miss again. Yeet. Look at my knee. Look at my knee. This is discrimination against the cookies. Well, right back to placing down trapdoors. This is the most epic montage ever. The things that goes behind the <laughs> scenes. <laughs> What the heck? My heart, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, I definitely didn't feel this in before a intruder breaks into this little opening. Bam. Good thing I fell down there. Ah! 
Oh my. Bro, I can't I can't do anything in life without being bothered. All right. All the trap doors are placed down. Now for the slabs and it should be done. Cue the epic montage. We Oh my god. I still need to clean this up. Oh my god. And there we go. The walls are finally complete. Well, sort of, because I still need to build a second wall on the inside, and that is a lot of work. So I might just leave it as only the outside wall, because, you know, I'm kind of lazy. Well, that took a lot longer than expected, but now for the fun part, which is terraforming the entire ground, making the grass look a lot better, removing all this nasty stuff, <laughs> and redesigning these houses, because they look like peasant houses. We need to make these villagers live rich. These two dudes had a kid. Respect. They didn't even give them a bed to sleep on. Is there a bed up here oh there, there are beds okay this guy's just dumb okay let me help you oh never mind he's got it he's got it okay never mind he doesn't got it he, this guy's hey yo come on get up the stairs you know before before I pull this thing out uh there you go i just gotta stare him down okay now okay yeah this guy's just I'll, I'll let him do his thing but yeah let's start terraforming the inside of the village yeah first things first let's remove all this nasty grime of the way I, all these cobblestone fences like who, whose idea was it to add these whoever added these is so stupid imagine adding this thinking it looks good what an idiot all right now let's remove all of this grass because like hey, look at this it's like a size beard it can't grow properly it's all patchy Ugh. that boy needs some fertilizer Yo, check out this goat, everyone. This guy thinks he's so cool. Get off that. Yeah, you can't just stand there and pretend you're better than everybody else. Yeah, yeah, you better listen. But now let's clean up this terrain because uh, look at this. It looks like I just pooped all over it and left it there to stain the ground. What? It looks terrible. So I got myself some dirt and let's uh, try my best to fix this up because I really do not like it. Does anybody know what this grass is called? Like, what is the name of this thing? It's just yellow grass that's shorter. Kind of sounds like me among the crowd of people that I hang out with. It's just yellow and short. <laughs> <laughs> Sad days. But no, honestly, let me know in the comments. What is the name of this grass? I swear I've never seen it added. It just randomly popped up into Minecraft and I just accepted it. Like, oh, there's a different type of grass now and it's yellow. It's like rotten to grass. Anyways, I'll shut up and stop talking because uh, I just rambled. It did take me a while to remove all of this curdy stained grass. But once I was complete, it was time to start terraforming the land. Uh, oh my why did that scare me that actually made me jump <laughs> okay now i need to fix up the land here i need to terraform all of this especially this part is pretty gross and watching me terraform the minecraft world must be really boring to watch so i'll leave you with this Begin operation, transform the village. I'm going to turn these three houses into one building because they're kind of stuck in one corner. I'm probably going to change these three buildings as well because they're really crammed up. I might make a castle over here. I think that would be a really good idea. I'm planning on a marketplace over here in this corner where they can sell stuff and have little shops. I'll add some more houses right in the middle with a town square. I will expand this pond right here. And over here will be a big farm for the villagers right here. And that is my plan. That is how I'm going to section off off this castle and with that being said let's start the operation of transforming the village it's time for destruction let's destroy all of these houses here i'm sorry villagers but i'll build you guys a new house soon hey buddy i'm gonna have to uh i'm just gonna have to uh you know make you a bigger door also a bigger window you know i'm just trying to help you out renovate your house a little bit also you know what i don't think you need a ceiling you know you need to see more of the sun you need more sunlight in your life so let me remove your uh your rooftop as well you know what you, you don't even deserve your job but let's start chopping down all these homes
right now i'm just watching reruns of victorious as i tear down these poor villagers homes and i'm kind of living the life i love this i miss watching victorious did anyone else watch victorious as a kid this show is amazing i feel a little too old to be watching it but you know i'm also playing minecraft so uh yeah yo this one goat is so aggressive <laughs> He keeps attacking the iron golem and the iron golem is just taking come on brother assert your dominance don't be, don't be shy man it's okay oh here he comes here he comes i'll take the bullet for you come at me come at me bro oh yeah he's scared of me see you see that oh no oh no 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 yo he's a screaming goat this guy's rare never mind you deserve to die Okay. oh my god he does so much damage he did half of my heart okay that was kind of dangerous i could have died there i am very sorry please don't attack me again oh no oh no okay i need a really i really need to go i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to put you out hey free iron though i'll take it in the memory of the loving iron golem rip iron golem in the comments everybody even though i killed it and he didn't die from natural causes creeper please go away this might be my first encounter oh there's another one over there we're getting raided okay i quickly need to go to bed i do not like the nighttime my island's looking actually amazing Amazing. I really love that island over there. We've been putting a lot of work into this entire series. I love it. But yeah, thanks so much for being a part of the journey, everybody. None of this would have been possible without you guys. But anyways, enough simping. Let's start building a new house over here that will probably house at least like 10 villagers. And there's the brand new house fully renovated and looking way better it's basically an upgrade of this house like look at it it's basically the same thing but this house can easily count for those three houses that were here before because i can fit like at least 400 beds here yeah may maybe not 400 maybe like 500 but you guys know what i mean and they have a huge backyard as well the only problem is now i have a lot of more houses to uh transform and building that one house already took me a pretty long time so yeah this, this is gonna be a fat project but less talking more doing let's start transforming all of these houses now I just gotta destroy more villager homes and leave them homeless. Uh, it's my dream. This guy's like, bro, what are you doing in my ceiling? Yeah, why are villagers? Do they not know how to? Yeah, yeah, walk up the stairs, bro. Oh my, I thought I was dumb. All right, another house fully torn down and just left his bed there. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come home at night trying to sleep and he's gonna be so confused. Yeah, that guy's like, where's my bed? Where's my, where did my home go? Oh, he's gonna go invade somebody else's home. That's hilarious. Hey, but I'm on my last piece of potato. I literally ate a whole stack this episode. Oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited potatoes. Oh, I'm so fat. All right, let's speed up the process a little bit. Let's start building a bunch of new homes. Let's go. And there we go. Finally, the second house is complete. Now we got two custom homes inside this village. About uh, 10, 15 more to go. Home. Oh. Alright, yesterday I completed all of these houses. This took me a very long time. It was like eight to nine hours of building. I got this one, which was my highest quality one because I spent most of my time on it. And then I think it slowly got worse and worse, but they're still pretty good. Pretty high effort. I really like these ones. They definitely look a lot better than what it used to be. And I also finished off yesterday with building this well. I added some chains. There's a little cauldron in there with some water. And there's like a little pulley system thing. I think it looks pretty awesome, especially with the detail with this lever and everything. Pretty cool. But now since day three, let's finish 
finish off this entire build. I'm going to transform this church into something way better. Just upgrade it. And I'm probably going to build a farm over here. Fix up this pond. And if I'm feeling not late, and if I'm not, and if I'm not lazy after building those things, I might make a castle over here. But I really doubt it because the castle is a lot of work. But uh, yeah, let's get back into building. Is it time for another cinematic shot? I think it is. And there we have it. I completely changed all of these houses in this village. And it looks way better than before. All the villagers look pretty happy as well. That took me about two full days to build though. So please drop a like if you guys think these houses look sick. Because I really like them, man. These guys stole my car. Get on my car. That's my car. Get on me car. Vroom, vroom. Yo, he's chasing me. Grand Theft Auto. He's trying to get his car back. He's going to put a bounty on my head. Go, 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 go. High speed chase. Na, 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 na. Oh, we lost them. We lost the stars. But to finish up these houses, you guys know i must add some leaves to all of these houses it's tradition around here so let's start doing that really quickly all right i got most of the houses full of leaves it looks way better with the nice greenery and i still got the church to fill with leaves and these two houses and the target little center thing and i was too lazy to build a castle over here all right building these houses took me three days so uh, yeah a castle is another day and we are done leaves are placed down everywhere i should have put this uh target a little further back i'm not sure why i built it so close to this house but there we go all the houses are complete and complete all the houses in the village are complete and custom and covered in leaves. Maybe I placed down a little too much leaves, but it looks a lot better than a normal village. I think we did pretty good. Oh, no, no, no. I saw a zombie villager here. Hello, where'd he go? No, 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 no. Yo, you're infecting your own family. What are you doing? Okay, I got you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hopefully, other villagers are still alive because I did remove a lot of these torches and... Oh, no. Please tell me the villagers are still alive. I only see one. No, I see two. Is anyone else? Oh, no, this isn't good. All the villagers might have died and they're kind of sharing this one bed well too bad because that's my bed i spent some time lighting up the walls and all of the ceilings and inside the homes but now it's time to make some pathways to every single house out of some gravel what is going on here this is what what the heck a goat and a pig in a boat yeah I i'll leave you guys be that that is weird okay, let's put some gravel down and this will be the pathway and it's gonna lead to every single house so there's some nice little walkways for the villagers and me oh wait i need to make it into the ground all right let's carve out the grass and slap down some gravel everywhere hey you go the way go yeah thanks for listening brother and well bam i finally have pathways i didn't add cobblestone or cobblestone stairs though because i'm kind of lazy but that took a lot of gravel <laughs> it looks a lot better though now but this video took me a very long time to complete it was a lot of building and a lot of effort and i'm not sure where my boots went i only have pants nice but thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you guys haven't already and share the video with a friend on the next episode i'll be building a villager trading hall inside this custom village so stay tuned for that video and i'll see you guys later